Hello everybody, I'm Dupree and welcome. So, today I'm gonna teach you how to change the FOV in game in Metro Last Light. Um, so, uh, what you will have to do first of all is download the latest patch. If you've bought the game, then it'll probably be on Steam. Uh, but if you have downloaded the game for free, uh, illegal somehow, God forbid, um, then there is still a way for you to get the latest patch slash update. Um, the link will be in the description, so you just uh, open up this, download, and then uh, what you will have to do first of all is go percentage, ser search in the search bar uh, down here, percentage, local, app data, percentage, and just press enter, just sh then go into local, um, go into 4A games, the Metro Lost Light, and then be sure to take the ones with ze ones and zeros. And uh, there is another way to get to this folder. I will show you right away here. Actually, uh, you go to local disk. Then you go in down to users. Then your computer name. Mine is Johannes. Um, and then you go to organize folder and search options. View. Then you. Just, um, click the box, show hidden files, folders and drives then apply and then OK. So then uh, a wild folder will, will appear app data. You just go in there local 4A games Metro Lost Light. There you have it. So now you go into user uh, no actually I forgot sorry about that. Uh, first of all you needed the update if you got it for free it'll look like this. Uh, so you just go into update uh, you copy these, then you go uh, into uh, program files x86. Uh, you, you go into Steam, uh, Steam apps, come on. Then you go into Metro Lost Light, and then you just paste them in here. I've already already done this, so I don't have to do it again. Uh, you just do it on these three. You don't have to do it on this one. This one. Uh, you copy that one and you put it where I showed you how to get to in uh, in this folder when s with a bunch of ones and zeros so just paste it in there uh, oh shut yes redo that <laughs> um, so you just paste the user file in here the CFG file then you have to run the game first before you go to the next step be sure to do that you have to do that so after you run the game once uh, you go into this user and again ones and zeros user CFG file then you go to the bottom and then up here you'll see base FOV default it will be something like five six six five one or something like that that is ridiculous low and disgusting so I uh, I just changed it a second ago and I thought that 65 is a pretty pretty decent amount it's, it's good um, so yeah that there you have it there it's done I'm gonna show you a comparison between the default one and the uh, the one with the 65 FOE you can probably go crazy with this and go up to a hundred or something but that's just ridiculously bad. I mean, that's you won't be able to play like that. But uh, yeah, if you enjoy the video, pr be sure to press the like button and subscribe for future episodes. And if this helped you, please leave a comment telling me that that actually helped you. That is much appreciated. And I will see you in the next video.